Hello everybody, today I decided that we would head out to Verhunga Savannah with the 454 revolver and see if we could get ourselves some Cape Buffalo. Now I've been wanting to do this for a little while, I've wanted to go after some Cape Buffalo with the handgun because I always find it interesting to go after the aggressive animals like the water buffalo and the Cape Buffalo with a handgun because it does make for some pretty entertaining hunts so that's what I decided we will do today so let's go see if we can get close enough to take one of these buffalo down. We're gonna see how many of these guys we can get down with the 454. So there's actually a decent amount of them right here. But that's a bit far to take a shot with the handgun though. So we are gonna have to move around a little bit and hopefully get closer without them spooking off. Which is going to be difficult because we do have to go around the entire lake in order to even get to them. So hopefully this doesn't end badly. Ooh, there's actually a bunch right there and that's a mythical but he is fleeing off. That is unfortunate. I honestly didn't even see these guys because they're kind of hidden in that brush. Maybe there'll still be a decent sized one in there though. But it looks like it's just a bunch of level 2 females so that's very unfortunate. You know honestly we might be able to make a 150 meter shot. Let's see if we can get this. And actually deal some damage to it. Yeah, that's definitely going to kill it. And there's our mythical. Wish I had seen him before I shot. Now we just need to get a spot on him. And I'll probably try to take a shot on him while he's moving. But I don't know where he's going to pop out. So that is a bit unfortunate. We might actually have a couple coming for us. So we're going to have to be careful. Because one of them is running around the lake. Uh, let's go ahead and move... I don't want to be right here when it comes over. Or it might have ran past us. No, it's definitely coming back for us. Yeah, that thing's still aggressive. See if we can get a shot at it while it's running at us. put it down it's just gonna be a matter of dodging now there we go a little level three female yes yeah, second and third shot absolutely destroyed it thankfully because that first shot was terrible let's go see if we can get to that level eight though because I do want to take that down for respawn so we can hopefully eventually get ourselves a level 9k buffalo because I still don't have one on this account. I've got it on our beginner series account, but I have never killed one here on the main. We actually got a little Gemsbok here. I don't think I'm going to shoot it though because I've got quite a bit of hunting pressure over here. And if I were to shoot it, it could delete this zone. And this is one of the best Cape Buffalo zones on the map, so I really don't want to do that. There is that one that we shot from 150 meters. That's actually pretty good penetration from that distance. The 454 honestly has so much power. Very amazing handgun. It's honestly underused too. I don't see too many people using it at all. Which blows my mind because it is fantastic honestly. Alright, we will have to come back over here and try to get that 8 later. Let's head down to this little lake. This is always a pretty good Cape Buffalo spot. And there is a couple Cape Buffalo right there. One of them is still hiding from me though, I can't really see what it is. Let's see if there's anything else. There's usually some over here, and there is a level 7, a level 6, 1, a 2, a 6. And there's something else right there, but I can't get a good look at it. Alright, well since this one's only 124 meters away, let's go ahead and kill her. See if we can get a good shot. Oh, are you kidding me? It has happened again. We hit this tiny little tree. This tiny little bush. The same thing that happened with the mule deer. That is pretty unfortunate. I mean, at least this was nothing special. But it's not that big of a loss. And we actually got ourselves a six coming after us. Honestly, the power of the 454 is absolutely crazy. I honestly need to use this gun more because it is really really good and it's a lot of fun 
Also, while I'm thinking about it, I am glad to see that you guys enjoyed that handgun video that I posted yesterday. Or not yesterday, but a couple days ago. It was a lot of fun to make. And I definitely want to do some more of those. Let me know if you guys would like to see any other weapons that we typically wouldn't use in the future. Because there's a lot of different guns that don't get used very often that are a lot of fun to use. So I'd be down to try some of the less used weapons. Alright, so I think just to show the power of the 454, we're going to take a... Let's go for a 250 meter shot if I can. Ah, we'll go for 225. That's probably going to be the best I can get. I was able to do this on Red Deer, so hopefully I'm able to with these guys, but it's crazy how much power this thing still has. Except I hit a little bit far back on that shot. I hit a little far back, unfortunately, so that's not going to do what I need it to. Go ahead and see what this one's at. So this is at 208. For another shot. That one looked a little better. Yeah, that one's dying. So at that range, if you compensate for the drop, this gun can still drop a Cape Buffalo relatively quick. Another reason why this handgun is just so phenomenal. And we have a friend here. There's always at least one that comes over and attacks. Just how Cape Buffalo are. Oh my gosh, that was too close. That was too close for comfort. Well, let's go get that one that we nailed from 200 meters. It actually was a vital organ hit. That first shot was a vital organ hit, I think. Or... Wait a second. I am so confused. Did we hit two different buffalo? I am very confused. I guess we'll have to go find out. Maybe they were just on top of each other. Maybe they were closer than I thought. Yeah, I think this actually is the second one that we shot. We will see when we claim it though. If it says 208 meters or close to that, then it should be the one that we shot second. Oh, 223. This is the first one we shot. Wow. We got left lung and stomach, and it only ran 165 meters. That is crazy. Well, knowing that now, I feel like whenever we find ourselves a level 9k buffalo, we're going to have to take a long range handgun shot. If it can still penetrate at 223 meters and be relatively accurate, then... We have to try that. We have to try that eventually. I feel like that will be a crazy shot. Oh, wait a minute. Is that... It is. Oh my gosh. We finally found one. Well, I guess it's time. I guess it's time to test our luck with this level 9. If we screw this up, I'm going to be very, very sad. Because this is actually the first level 9... Bighorn's Cape Buffalo that I've found on my main Call of the Wild account. As a lot of you that watch the channel know, I got one with a bow on my beginner series that I've been doing a little bit. I haven't done an episode of that in about a week and a half, but I did get a level 9 Cape Buffalo Bighorn's that was actually max score on that account, but I've never killed one on this account, so now's our chance. I've just got to find a spot that I can go that will give me an angle to where I can actually take a 250 meter shot with the 454. Okay, we can see him right there, but he's not broadside. I might have to shoot towards him with the 22 to get his attention. There's a lot of Cape Buffalo there. I haven't seen this many here in so long. Definitely a ton of them. Let's see if we can get his attention though real quick. I just need him to move so that he's not facing me because I'm going to have to go up here just to be able to make this shot. There he is. Lined up so perfect if he can just stay there for long enough. Oh, 
I don't think I'll take that. That's not not reliable enough. He's slightly quartering, which I don't like at all. This is going to be really difficult because of the way this brushes. I don't know how this is going to turn out. It's 255 now. I think we go for it. I think we go for it. It's going to be a difficult shot. We hit it. And it's gone aggressive, so if we didn't get vitals, we'll get a second chance. It's not losing health though, so I'm kind of scared. Kind of scared that we didn't vitally hit it. But I'm happy it's running at us just in case. Let's do what we can to make this as reliable of a shot as we can. Yeah, we definitely didn't hit him vitally. Unfortunately. Now we gotta make sure this shot counts. We gotta make sure this shot counts. Because he's already got one in him. No! How did that kill me? How did that kill me? Was I not at full health? Oh no. Ah, oh, well, it's a good thing we're really close. It's a good thing we're really close. He should be aggressive still, so he should end up running towards us again. I'm wondering if we even hit him with that first shot. He's not losing HP. think we hit vitals it looks like vital blood oh my gosh it's vital blood Ooh, <laughs> that was an interesting way to get a diamond I'm not sure how to feel about that I'm kind of sad we screwed up the long-range shot but we got him in the end and that's all that really matters because that is a vital organ hit oh my gosh you know, now that I look at him, I'm not actually sure if this is the big horns. I think it is. 15250. And that actually is just barely diamonds. This was not the big horns after all. Honestly, I get those mixed up so often. Even though I've played this game for around 1200 hours, I still confuse the big horns and the small horns. Just because I don't hunt these guys very often, but that is a diamond cape buffalo with the 454. And the first shot just barely missed. We were so close to hitting that. In fact, we were basically touching the lung. We were basically touching his lung. But that close range shot absolutely destroyed this poor buffalo. Alright then. Nice. Definitely nice. Let's go check this guy out in the trophy lodge. Um, I really thought he was big horns at first, but I guess he was just the small horns. You know, I think for this Cape Buffalo, we're actually going to replace this mountain lion and toss this guy up here. Let's go ahead and actually we can't. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Here we go. This should be a plaque he can fit on. Yeah, there we go. Cape Buffalo. It's unfortunate that it was not the big horns. You know, for a brief second, I really thought it was, but just my lack of knowledge of Cape Buffalo coming into play. There we go. There is a Diamond Cape Buffalo. Still a cool trophy even though it is the small horns. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was fun to go out with the 454 and just kind of mess around with some of these Cape Buffalo. But our hunt for a Bighorns Diamond continues on. We got the small horns one, but that's not what we're looking for. I want to get a diamond big horns one on this account before they give them the true racks, which who knows when that'll be, but but anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this little video. And that's gonna be it for me. Peace. If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.